three things that show up in my work are um, like I want to change and stick around because I think you'll, you'll get some benefit out of this. So people come to me saying that I want to change my lifestyle or my relationships suck right now and I'd love to live a more free life. I want to change who I am into something else that I could maybe reduce the suffering or reduce the fatigue or reduce something. And in that wanting to change, there can be the part of us that doesn't want to change. And this is the shadow that shows up where I want to change and I don't want to change. I just want to 2x my way into a different kind of mediocrity. And something that I think is really important in wanting to change is being willing to let go of all the people that have known who you were, the people that remember all of your patterns, all of your traits, all of your sayings that you have, um, need to be willing to let them go, including sometimes relationships, like intimate ones, where someone who's followed you for a long time or you catch up with and but deep down they're just not living their life they're wasting their life um, so in that the other people that, that come to me that want help they want to reduce their suffering and suffering is different for every individual some people prefer to suffer through habits like their habits become life um, or maybe they prefer to suffer through rigidity where they think that by aiming for perfection that they can escape the gravity of the pain and the futility and the existential crisis of why they are here. Um, in the suffering there can also be, I want to have relationships that are only fun, that are only always high. And while for the most part, that style of relating is possible, um, you really need to go through even more suffering first in order to access that. And the third thing that people come to me with is they want to be free. And what is freedom? I mean, you've been raised from a very early age in a family system where you needed to conform in order to survive and while running in the fields naked might feel free to you or buying a permaculture property on a deserted island in Costa Rica might seem free to you, ultimately you're still trapped by your beliefs, you're still trapped by the musculature, the muscle memory in your body of early childhood. And what people that come to me that resist change and say they want to reduce their suffering and don't and want to be free and really don't um, need to confront is that they need to feel what hasn't been felt from a very early age. This requires being with pain in the body. So for example, when someone's working with me and I can see them moving and twitching and like doing all these ones or, oh, you know, all these ones, I ask them what's going on in your body. And they'll say, John, I've got this incredible pain on my right shoulder blade or my lower back, or I can't feel my feet. And while most medical professionals will freak out, um, for me, I know that that's a symptom of trauma. And that when someone's going through those in session with me, um, in the container of going into your childhood injuries, that trauma is going to appear in your body and then for my more advanced work, I know on the body where to push in order to find where residual trauma is. So in the context of wanting to be free, um, there's, a, there's a maintenance level of freedom. And then if you really want to break through and discover what freedom to be, whatever it is that you want to be, um, whether it's walking around in your underpants or coming on camera with your hair messy or whatever it is, whatever the reduction of reduction of rigidity 
that you feel like you need to conform in order to be something that you're not, to show up in a way that makes you feel that people are going to love you, receive you and respect you or see you as credible based on um, what clothing that you wear. Ultimate freedom comes from acceptance that you've gone through some shit and your body still holds on to that. And it doesn't matter how much mindset work you do or how much you try and 10x your existence. The part of you that holds you back will be your body, the muscle memory in your body. And while you might excel in one area of your life, there's a number of other areas which will hold you back. The 2%, the 20% of what's holding you back. So you might excel in business and entrepreneurship and then fail in your relationships. Or you might excel in your relationships and then fail with finance. Or you might be really good at maintaining your house, but then fail at maintaining your mind. So to be free means to let go of everything that you've known, everything that you've believed that is you. And that includes friendships. It includes items of clothing. It includes books. It includes things that are nostalgic that you feel attached to because they remind you of who you are. That's not freedom, right? So if you want to be free, it really boils down to what do you want to do? What are you willing to do to really be free? And freedom is a terrifying thought for rigids or people that are afraid that they're going to be taken advantage of or oppressed. Um, while people that speak of oppression also ironically speak of freedom, they actually don't want freedom. They want more control. And to be free releases the constraints on control. And it can be terrifying for someone who lives a controlled life, a constrained life, who has rigidified meals and nutrient plans and workout plans and and ways of being that a calendar tells you to be. So to be free requires you to stand in the face of all of that and weather the storm of everybody that's attempting to control you. And you know what that feels like in your body because that seven-year-old part of you that was yelled at, that was disciplined, that was rebuked for their impulsive nature knows what that feels like. And that's where your instinct lies underneath all of that. So underneath all that conditioning of unconscious change, running from suffering and wanting to be free, there is an instinct that will guide you into areas of your life and relationships and connections that your mind and mindset will never be able to take you.